Hey everybody, it's Sunday, the 29th. Uh, tomorrow I have a huge exam. I'm just here praising and worshiping in my room. My roommate's not here again, but she'll be here tomorrow morning. I actually ended up leaving my charger at my house, which kind of sucks because I like texting my friends a lot. So hopefully the three-fourths that's left on my battery on my phone will last. I just wanted to uh, wish everybody good luck on their exams, on their finals. I know that these are the last two, three weeks of school of this semester. And then we have exams in this next two to three weeks. And then we have winter break. Woohoo! We get to celebrate Christmas with our families and see all of our loved ones. So I just really wanted to wish everybody good luck tell them that I'm praying for them and I hope that you all do well I know that God wants success for everyone actually in Jeremiah 29 11 he says that he has plans to prosper us and you know not to harm us that he's gonna make us succeed but we have to trust in him and walk in his path I mean everything that God says is a condition it's a promise so we act on one part because he's already offered us some things and he's going to give us something in return the only thing we have to do is trust in God and follow him it's really quite simple I mean you know easier said than done of course but the whole concept that he offers we respond in the right way and he completes his promise it's like a done deal we just have to meet him halfway I mean, we can't expect him to come into our bodies and act for us. I mean, we're not robots. God didn't create us like that. He gave us free will. It's up to us to make that step, to take that giant leap forward, that giant leap of faith that says, Hey, God, I know you're out there. I know you exist. I know you gave me a promise, and I know that you're going to give that to me. But I have to prove that I love you first. I have to prove that I love you above all of my friends, all of my family, all of the material possessions of the world, anything that this world has to offer. I love God more. And that's what doing His will and walking in His path really means. It means that God is number one. He's not number two. He's not, oh, I'll do what God wants me to do if it benefits me in my opinion. Listen. God already said he has plans to prosper us, not to harm us. He wants what's best for us. And he's not going to give us second best, he's going to give us God's best. And he knows everything. So, you know, I don't understand, like, I honestly don't understand how people can doubt that. God would never hurt us. He loves us. He made us. He gave us everything that we could possibly need. And it's all because of his love for us. Sure, bad things happen, but remember, this world is not dominated by God. It's dominated by men, and in the majority, men who follow the devil, men who follow the rules of this world, and not the next world that we actually, truly should pertain to. Now, the only way to get into that world is to be born again. And how are we born again? As Nicodemus asked, how are we born again? He asked Jesus how to be born again, and Jesus said that it wasn't through the womb again. You have to be born by the Spirit. And to be born by the Spirit, you must truly believe. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that you believe in Jesus Christ, that He is your personal Savior, that He will, he will wipe away your sins if you commit your life to walking in His path. And then, little by little, day by day, moment by moment, decision by decision, Choose God first. Choose Jesus and follow his example. I hope this message has blessed you. I just want to thank everybody for your lives, for you watching my blog, for supporting me, for believing in God, for being curious. Because God has a purpose for you. He has a purpose for everyone on this planet, everyone who has come into existence. And he has a purpose for you. Are you ready? Are you ready? To, are you willing? Do you have what it takes? God is waiting for you. And it isn't by chance that you're watching this message. He has a plan for you if you just accept Him and follow Him. Oh God, I just want to thank you for the person watching my blog right now, for my friends, for my family, for the wonderful vacation I had during break for Thanksgiving. 
I pray for everyone who's in school studying, doing exams, everyone who's going through trials and tribulations, everyone with financial troubles, everyone who has something that is burdening their hearts right now. I pray that they all have the strength to give it unto you, to pin it up unto the cross that you have taken for our burdens. Oh God, I just thank you and I pray that everyone who is watching this will be renewed in their strength and in their faith for you, God. And that whoever is watching this that is not a believer, that you just come into their hearts, that they, they are blessed, that they are truly touched by the message, and that they know that God is out there, that you are out there, God, that you are loving them and that you are waiting for them with a wonderful path and a wonderful plan specifically laid out for them. I thank you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Be blessed, everybody.